first, uh, I grew up in my district in, uh, I guess I was born in Seacane and raised up in Springfield, for those that know Delaware County. A family of eight kids, my father had been an immigrant, came over from Czechoslovakia as a young boy with his father, who worked in Lucan Steel Mill in Coatesville. I know Coatesville like the back of my hand. Um, so we grew up, uh, my father graduated during the Depression from high school, worked a year or two, then went off and got accepted at the Naval Academy, did World War II, both Atlantic and Pacific. I have yet to meet a better person than him. And so therefore I made my decision in third grade that I would join the Navy. And I never deviated. My mom, and they both still live, became a teacher when the last kid went out uh, first grade in those Catholic school days where everybody, no matter if it was first grade or high school, they all started at the same time and ended at the same time. She went out and taught math in high school and would come home as the first kid came. So I went off to the Naval Academy. It was 1970 Vietnam War, but I wanted to, without any question, continue to do what I wanted. Uh, I had chosen in life. I didn't quite think I'd stay. I only got out three years ago, one January three years ago. In the time that I was in, it was tremendous. It wasn't just being at sea, that was fine, but it was bringing teams together to accomplish a mission together. I really loved the service, because I always felt I was doing something that was serving a purpose. Everybody has reasons for doing things, but that was something I grew to probably mostly for my pop and mom. I got to be President Clinton's Director for Defense Policy in the White House. So I got to see the movement and decision making of national security policy from the executive branch perspective. I was also got to lead men and women into harm's way. I had command of a small ship and a squadron ship and then this area battle group. It was 30 ships. Um, in the war in Afghanistan. Before the war in Afghanistan, before I took over command of that ship, I was director of the Navy's anti-terrorism unit. So I was on the ground for a short period of time near the beginning of the Afghanistan war. Um, I came out of Afghanistan and shortly thereafter took over command of that carrier battle group to continue the retaliatory strikes. Having seen what it was like on the ground. For a short mission that I had to do. I had a tremendous career. I did everything I wanted and set out to do, which was primarily just one thing. I wanted to command a ship. And then I got all that extra. I got married late in life, 47. I had a four-year-old daughter, um, a few years, I had, four year, had a child who was four years old when my only real significant personal challenge occurred. She was struck with a malignant brain tumor. four years ago when she was the age of I lived in the oncology ward with her, which there was a nurse here who was it? Me. Connection yeah. with her. And uh, that's why I told you I like the nurses to chief on the ship. They keep the scenes of a hospital, at least in my image of them, from Oakley. We came to, that's why I went to Paznat. My first group I went at. 